Well, hey guys, this is DK Spencer. <laughs> My uh, DK tabletop cover thing was getting a little greasy from laceration grease uh, doing some bills this weekend. So anyway, yeah, guess what this is? I'll give you one hint. <laughs> All right. So probably won't do a much. Uh, probably won't do much or a much. Uh, with this other than just kind of check it out right now But obviously we're gonna do some testing and playing and all that jazz. So let's see what we got here Sounds like uh, Yeah, cool. Well, Kurt sent me some co2 I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. Oh, I like that new sticker. That's pretty cool. Choo -choo. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I wasn't exactly sure which one I was going to be getting. Um, I gave Kurt like two different options. <laughs> I figured, you know, why not? So, all black definitely suits my style. And uh, the other option was the uh, blasted aluminum top. So, and this probably makes more sense, honestly. So, yeah, good times. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Take a look at the uh, directions here. Don't leave it charged with CO2. Don't do that with these either. Seriously. That's where a lot of people blow their O-rings. They'll leave these things charged for, you know, a long time. <laughs> Max pressurization time, five minutes. I'd probably leave one of these pressurized longer than that, but, yeah, still probably a good thing to go by. Degas ASA after use, or ASAP ASA. ASA, right? I was like, does it have an ASA on it? <laughs> I mean, on off you say. Anyway, whatever. Um, <clears throat> operating temperature, 40 to 100. Well, I have no control over when I'm going to need to operate it. But uh, use only 12 or 16 gram threaded CO2. Read the manual. I'll definitely do that. So Wixen has sent me some stuff too. And um, I'll look at all that. I thing is pretty freaking good quality. And the sights are... Well, they're basically Glock sights, which is awesome. Cannot beat that. Very similar, anyway. I like the uh, the outlined rear sight like that. That's what a Glock has, and it's probably the best sight picture you can get. So, anyway, does this come with tools? Do it do, or a tool. It's an Allen key, not an Allen wrench. Allen key. I'm not going to do a lot without uh, looking at videos because watch it, reading the manual and stuff. I've watched a couple of videos, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, these are actually V3s. I mean V2s. Sorry. So five of those guys. Guess I should go about that a different way. Not too bad, not too bad. I think that's why I was kind of hesitant to get one of these uh, a long time ago. Was just the, that it didn't have a you know mag you could pop out or whatever. Realistically, and less lethal, you're not going to be like people have this picture that they're like hunkered down in big time like you know Hollywood shootouts or whatever, and that's not really going to be the case. At least most likely. 
So these are 16 gram. We'll go into the to the wicks and stuff. Uh, we'll go in, and actually, I'll tell you what, always lube it, boys. Always lube it. of a rail to matter. Put a red dot on it if you want. I like open sights personally. But uh, yeah, now I gotta get me a holster. Okay. Yeah, I know, I wasn't planning on shooting it. And I was planning on, you know, reading the manual, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so let's see here. All right, we're charged. Good gosh. <laughs> All right, uh, that's loud. 332, that's gonna be 40 joules. <laughs> Just yep, better than advertised, can't beat that. Golly, that thing is loud. So 318, that's gonna be 37. <clears throat> so it's still one better than advertised. So 300, that's gonna be 33. Wow. <clears throat> 284. Is gonna be twenty nine, and then we got two seventy, which is gonna be twenty six. I guess we could see if it'll do more. Hold that thought. No, I'm not actually gonna do that because I gave it a little twist. So, and I haven't read the manual yet, but just knowing enough about CO two based launchers. Since the, the nozzle of this is up this way, you're gonna to wanna to hold it up, upright like this to prevent any liquid CO2 that may remain from messing up your seal. And there wasn't much left there. I don't think you would've got very many more shots out of it. So, I like it. I definitely like it. Yes, we'll, we'll put the wicks and stuff and everything on it. I'm, I'm gonna do a couple little things to it, nothing major. That thing's stout. I, I dig it. I really dig it. Look at that. Frosted sun. And people wonder why if they just shoot CO2 stuff back to back to back to back, why that, like it fails. That's why. Because it's that cold on the inside too. <laughs> seals yeah don't ruin them all right guys well this has been very simple and short and sweet and to the point but anyway there you go all right <laughs> y'all like and subscribe bye